What is Bihar's uh, size of Bihar's economy? Sir, uh, GDP at the uh, current price is rupees uh, three point sorry rupees six point three two lakh. Right? And per capita income, sir, uh, it is around uh, thirty five thousand rupees. So low, sir. No, it can't be. Sir, uh, as per the recently presented economic survey, it is really. I doubt. However. Twenty-six thousand. Yes, you are right. Twenty-six thousand. Eight hundred. Thank you, sir. Yes. So, uh, but the economy has improved in the last few years. Yes. Uh, what is the reason? Uh, so, one is the uh, investing in infrastructure, mm -hmm. and uh, slowly on the industrial development is taking place, and uh, the government is uh, uh, public expenditure on. Uh, Uh, infrastructure has been increased by a large scale. That is the primary reason for development. Right. Okay. Primary reason was the law and order. Thank you. When law and order was was established, then industry started coming back. So that was the main. And of course, whatever you are saying is also true. Now, you must have read about. Uh, About uh, constitutional provisions, constitution, yes. right? What is the basic structure uh, concept? So, uh, basic structure uh, concept uh, sees that the uh, uh, the uh, some features are very basic nature to the, of the constitution. They cannot be changed or amended by the uh, parliament. Name some of those features. Uh, Major ones. So. So fundamental. Uh, Name the fundamental rights so come into play. Federalism. Federalism. Correct. Uh, uh, the independence of judiciary. Very good. Uh, so these are few which I can remember. Separation of powers. Thank you, sir. Supremacy of the constitution. Yes. Secular and democratic character of the. The, of the constitution, yes. of the government. These are four, five very basic. Yes. Uh, are uh, fundamental rights also part of uh, basic features? Sir, uh, fundamental rights are subject to reasonable restrictions. Uh, they can be amended. So, uh, till now, right, they can be amended. Only three have been now come under the basic features. Those are fourteen, nineteen, and twenty. That was. Oilo case of 2006. If you don't know it, you must read that case. Now, Article 21 of the Constitution, do you remember? Article 21. Yes, sir. It is uh, regarding the uh, right to life. Right to life. Right yes, sir. Right to be chosen. So it says, nobody shall be deprived of his life or liberty except by a procedure established by law. This expression, procedure established by law, it has undergone a change. Now, a change was made by Supreme Court. So what is the change? So, uh, I'm uh, not sure here. Uh, are you referring to the, uh, this provision of? Uh, I'm referring to Milka Gandhi case. Are you get it? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, What qualitative change was made in this procedure established by law was it placed has been replaced by a doctrine called due process of law. Thank you, sir. And what is due process of law? The test of reasonableness. Whether a law is reasonable. Yes, and earlier, if there was a law, court will not look at it. They say there is a law. Therefore, procedure by the law. Now. Whether that law is reasonable, and number two, whether the principles of national justice have been observed. That is called due process. Remember this in Karadi famous case. Okay, Mr. Nitesh, uh, what can you tell me about uh, the insurgency in Nagaland? Yes, sir. Sir, the group which is there. Sir, uh, uh, sir, uh, insurgency in Nagaland have been. Uh, uh, 
very long problem. Uh, it has uh, come down a little yeah. there. Uh, but now, which is the group which is now there? So, uh, it's the Kaplan faction. Yeah. Of, of uh, yes, yes. Right. Kaplan faction. So, uh, and what happened to the other group? So, uh, they, they made a Naga accord with uh, the government of India right. and uh, they uh, tried to mainstream with the Indian Federation. Yes. So, what is the one of the demands was relating to a Greater Nagaland? So what is this concept of Greater Nagaland? So, uh, Greater Nagaland, uh, along with the present state of Nagaland, a yes. few districts of uh, nearby states, they want to. Uh, which which uh, states are they? Uh, sir, uh, uh, I'm not very sure. Please allow me. Yeah, to yes. Uh, sir, uh, from uh, Manipur. Correct. And a few from Assam. Yes. And. Uh, one more state. Sir, uh, I think it's Pradesh. Because they are the only three states with which Nagaland has a boundary. So it, is, it has to be contiguous areas contiguous to Nagaland. Yes. Okay. Now, uh, what is uh, this process of extradition? Uh, sir, uh, the process of extradition is uh, for uh, bringing uh, bringing. Uh, uh, a person in foreign uh, territory to in uh, for context of India to India yes. for uh, facing the judiciary or basically we, uh, extradition means trying to get a person who is run away from your area after having committed a crime. Now, in the case of Vijay Malia, uh, what is the status of this extradition proceeding? What is happening in the UK? So, uh, magistrate uh, could have. Uh, Started the proceedings against Vijay Malia, yeah. and uh, if the court finds out that uh, it is necessary, so it's, to a, it's a judicial uh, process which is which is going on in the uh, Okay. Uh, what is uh, Project Mossam? Uh, so, uh, Project Mossam uh, uh, is uh, uh, of Ministry of Culture. And uh, it is uh, uh, for extending uh, the cooperation of the uh, Indian uh, Ocean region countries yes. for better cultural relations and strengthening the ties. Right. So it's not only just cultural, it is also strategic uh, yes, sir, it is also significance for us. Uh, uh, have you heard of uh, FATA Financial Action Task Force? Yes. What is this? So uh, it is uh, basically to uh, uh, association uh, under the OECD uh, basically to exchange of financial information, uh, tracking, uh, strengthening the taxation laws, tracking down the uh, uh, money laundering exercise, etc. Relating to primarily what? To prevent financing of terror. 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 Terrorism. So it is primarily aimed at uh, terrorism. Right? Sir, thank you. Okay. Uh, there is this tussle going on between the BCCI and the ICC yes, over whether India should participate in the Champions uh, Trophy or not. Yes, what has happened in that? So, uh, currently, uh, India is sending that team to uh, the Champions Trophy tournament. Uh, the background was that the ICC is now changing the structure of finances and the BCCI will get less uh, money than uh, under the prevailing structure. Sure. So, BCC wanted to uh, IC, uh, ICC to drop these uh, changes and ensure that uh, it gets the earlier fund. The old agreement remains. Yes. Okay. Right. Thank you. Yes. You are a chartered accountant. Yes. Why you want to join civil services? Because chartered accountancy is also a flourishing job. Yes. Sir, uh, diversity uh, is one of the reasons. Also, it's a career progression. Diversity of what? It's a diversity of the kinds of uh, portfolios and jobs which one can get in the career. And uh, also, sir, as a personal growth in career objective, I think uh, civil services will, will help. Tell me, you you have heard about this Niti I Yes, sir. Huh? What is its job? And do uh, you know how it is uh, performing? When did it come into being? Uh, sir, when the job of Niti Ayog is uh, to. Sir, no, when did it come? Sorry, sir. Into being. Uh, sir, uh, sir, 1st January 2015. 
so I'm not sure 15 or 16 sorry sir mm. it came into it, it is a basically a successor of the planning commission mm. and uh, it uh, have a, um, basically two uh, job one is to perform the think tank uh, uh, as a <laughs> think tank of the government and to uh, build a team india mm. what do you mean by team india Sir, uh, Team India means the uh, uh, sir stand in the cooperative federalism in the country. You say it is an initiative in cooperative federalism. Thank you, sir. Not Team India. Team India, you know, is being different and not having an interpreted different. Sir, sir. Okay. Uh, you see, in uh, cooperative federalism, there have been some other initiatives also after this NDA government came to power. Huh? What sir. are those other initiatives? So, uh, one is the goods and services tax. Yes. How, how it is also a very good initiative in cooperative federalism? Sir, so, uh, it is basically uh, to give the states uh, power to tax the services also along with the goods. And uh, better yeah, how? The procedure also is the GST Council. Yes. It consists of? Sir, uh, the GST Council consists of both states and the union. Mm. All the state ministers, the chief ministers, the finance ministers yes. are coming and there is a discussion only with their consent, you know, this is finally being approved. Yes, sir. Thank you. Okay, then what else? Another initiative named uh, incorporative federalism. Sir, so, uh, uh, one of the 14th Finance yes. Commission recommendation with the greater uh, fund uh, devolution of devolution to states. What is the greater devolution? You Sir, uh, it increased the amount of uh, how much? Sir, by 10 percent is quite. Yes. Okay. You have heard about this loan waiver in UP? Yes. Sir. What is the amount involved? Sir, it is around 32,000 crores. 36,000 crores. Thank you, sir. And total number of farmers? Uh, sir, size right. I'm not about sure about 86 crores. Thank you, sir. And up to, loan up to, what amount for farmer? Sir, uh, I guess it's worth 1 lakh. Up to 1 lakh. Do you think? Uh, Another way is good economics because many there are many people who are saying that uh, this is uh, this may be a good politics but a very bad economics. Sir, what is your view? Sir, uh, on the short run, if the agriculture situation is in severe distress, mm. then these sort of measures can be uh, implemented. However, sir, it uh, in the long run it uh, hampers the credit uh, culture of the country. Uh, so, sir, and also it burdens the banks also. So, uh, in the long run, these uh, sh practices should be reformed. Not reformed, it is bad economics. Yes. It will not only disrupt the credit culture, but the uh, banking habits yes. of the, the farmer. Banks will also not give loan. Yes. They will be burdened with all this loan. Yes. 36,000 crores. And this is a populist politics. So, we'll give you a view when we are okay. Uh, name five or six flagship schemes of government of India. Sir, Swachhuhaya Tabiya. Okay. Uh, Digital India. Okay. Uh, Stand Up India. Okay. Uh, then sir, uh, uh, Skill India. Uh, then uh, Namami Gandhi. Namami Gandhi. Thank you. All those things. Huh? Make in India. Make in India. Okay. Is Start Up India and Stand Up India. What is the difference? So, uh, startup uh, India is aimed at uh, inculcating the entrepreneurship skills, encouraging the new and new uh, industry mm. firms into the industry. Mm. And stand up India is basically helping the uh, backward sections uh, of the society, women, SCs, and STs, to take up entrepreneurship. SCs, women. Yes. And banks have been told to finance them. Sir, yes, sir. Uh, How many? Sir, uh, two or three cases can. Two. 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 Sir. At least two places. One from the SCST category, one. Hmm? Okay. Tell me, Swachhara Kabhiya, you know? Yes. Hmm? What is the kind of, you know, what are the objectives of this Swachhara Yes, sir. Uh, the main objective is to create uh, India Open Defecation Free by 2019. Right. Uh, further is to, uh, further, further is to uh, improve the uh, sanitation infrastructure in the country. By giving household uh, the uh, latrine construction, etc., and uh, other components are also uh, giving uh, cleaning uh, the common solid uh, waste management. Yes, then manual scavenging elimination. Yes, then uh, most important that is behavioral change. Yes, 
unless you change the behavior, the habit will continue. Even if you construct out, isn't it? Yes. What you will do for behavioral change as district magistrate? If you are uh, sir, uh, one will be to communicate with the people the benefits of uh, the uh, this behavioral change in terms of health, in terms of uh, monetary benefits also. And then, sir, uh, finding out the uh, people who are taking these initiative voluntarily to uh, present them, uh, them as an ambassador properly, uh, appreciating their efforts by awards, sometimes monetary benefits also. You enjoy watching TV series? Yes. Which ones do you watch? Sir, uh, primarily I watch uh, situational comedies. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you watch Indian ones or uh, foreign ones? What? Sir, ma'am, both. Okay. okay. How does it help you? Sir, uh, ma'am, uh, one, sir, one, it uh, helps in refreshing my mood. Okay. It, it is a uh, stress killer. Stress master. Okay. And uh, it, help, it has also helped in improving my communication skills. Very good. And also, ma'am, to uh, improve my so, uh, social skills, as my family members often watch these and I get the chance to spend some time with them. Okay, very good. Thank you. And you also uh, read non fiction. What are you reading at the moment? Uh, ma'am, uh, I am reading not just an accountant, but she reading. Okay, you are an accountant. Okay, very good. So tell me, you are from Bihar. And one years of the Kosi family expands every year. Why is that still existing? Uh, uh, one reason is the shifting nature of the Kosi river itself. Mm -hmm. Then uh, there is a uh, siltation problem in Kosi river. And then one is uh, the, uh, on Nepal side we have uh, constructed a barrage. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it breaches the limit and over uh, floods the area. So it has to be opened and consequently the flooding takes place. Okay. But they say it's also a boon. Why do they say it's a boon? Uh, Ma'am, one reason is the potential uh, energy uh, crea uh, creation possibility from the river. And uh, second is the it is lifeline for the uh, for the agriculture sector in Bihar. Okay. And it also brings fertile soil. Yes. Okay. Now you've heard of the scheme called Uran. Yes, ma'am. The regional connect connectivity scheme. Yes, Tell me something about this. Ma'am, uh, uh, in Kuda, under Udan, we will connect the uh, underserved and less uh, not served airport of the country. It will boost, boost the mobility of uh, both uh, man and material in, uh, across the country. Yes. And the uh, government have identified uh, most uh, mo approximately 70 such areas, uh, such airports where Udan can be implemented. So how will it help? Uh, Ma'am, uh, one will be that uh, the better uh, movability of the... is connectivity? Anything else? Uh, Ma'am, development of uh, uh, industry will also get benefited and, and benefited mm -hmm. as uh, the personnel can be now movable. So and tourism will also Yes, ma'am, tourism will also be. Okay, good. Now tell me something about smart cities. Have you heard of this project, smart city project? Yes, ma'am. Uh, Ma'am, under smart cities, uh, uh, cities will be uh, developed How by. Ma'am, initially it was 100. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, nine more have you added? Thank okay. you. So, what, what are smart cities? So, uh, Ma'am, uh, in smart cities, uh, very, uh, all the aspects of uh, urban life will be improved, including uh, infrastructure, connectivity, transport. Uh, Why is it called smart? Why not just cities? Uh, Ma'am, uh, because they will uh, they will uh, be doing a better, uh, the things will be done in a very better way, eco-friendly way, uh, so less time consuming. That is why. So we have all water facility, waste management, yes, uh, transport, yes, all that. Okay, thank you. How do you recover the problem of NPA in pollution? So uh, the problem of NPA is uh, grave at present. Uh, it is a uh, uh, how much water? What, what is the magnitude of that? So, uh, till December 2016, uh, total of total it was 9.4, 9.1, 9.1 percentage uh, of the total. Uh, in absolute terms, uh, so, so it's nearly seven lakh. Thank you. So, thank you. Uh, then, sir, uh, the bank uh, also. Uh, have their funds stuck in some projects, new projects that cannot be financed by the banks 
and the uh, banks are the lifeline of the economic system. Why is it that you know this 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 level? Any particular reason? Yes, sir. There are few reasons for this. Uh, one is that the the credit discipline have not been adhered by the bank. Proper risk identification uh, have not been undertaken, and the proper classification of the NPL and due time was delayed, so that the timely uh, timely restructuring also got delayed due to that. This is why it's recently the government passed an ordinance. So how do we look at that? And so, the implication of that? So it is a very good step. Uh, it gives uh, uh, RBI to RBI to some additional powers. It get, uh, it uh, empowers them to set an oversight committee, which will help the banks to uh, get the uh, resolution process fast. Bank cannot uh, bank uh, will not fear the uh, decision repercussions which uh, can happen over them due to bad decision or good decision or bad decision. Uh, secondly, sir, it will strengthen the joint lenders forum, which is for. Uh, Rupees hundred crore worth of loan or more. Uh, it uh, changes their uh, uh, mandate of decision making from. What is the concept of twin balance sheet? So twin balance uh, sheet uh, is for sir corporate balance sheet and the uh, public sector banks balance sheet both. So both are involved, right? Yes, both. Yeah. Both are interlinked and both are. Yes. Okay. Ah, uh, corporate social responsibility. Yes. So how do you look at that and what are the provisions in the Amended companies law. So, uh, companies being a corporate citizen also have uh, some responsibility towards the society. They take many inputs from the society. What are the provisions of the law now? So, uh, of their profit, they have to spend at least two percent of their uh, uh, on the corporate social responsibility, uh, and uh, it is uh, applicable to the some class of companies uh, mandatorily. Uh, I am not able to recall the exact. Uh, mm -hmm. But it's mandatory now. Yes. Okay. Uh, what is money laundering? So, uh, the money uh, generated by illegitimate means uh, is uh, present is channeled in such a way that it looks legitimate uh, uh, in the economic system. What, is it? what are shell companies? Uh, shell companies are uh, those companies which do not have any substantial economic uh, base. They are just created to round off the money and uh, to launder it. Okay. okay. Now, last question. Commodity exchange. Do you have a commodity exchange in India? Uh, sir, yes, sir. Uh, and what are the commodities where, uh, which are traded in the commodity exchange? Sir, few, few are, uh, sir, uh, edible oils. Mm -hmm. uh, then, sir, uh, any other agricultural community? Sir, I am not sure about it. Thank you. What is incumbency law? So, we have an incumbency law? Uh, no, insolvency law. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. We have uh, passed an insolvency law. Uh, it uh, uh, synergizes the existing. Uh, the insolvency ecosystem was very uh, fragmented in India. It's in, uh, it speaks with simple words. It's not go forward. Very difficult. Sorry, sir. Uh, it uh, creates the specialized uh, insolvency professionals uh, agency to regulate them and also. Which is that agency called? Uh, sir, uh, ins insolvency, uh, insolvency. And we have seen an insolvency Bank. board. Thank you, sir. Board. Yes, sir. It's a government body. Yes, sir. It's a government body. Yes, sir. Has it come into existence? Uh, sorry, sir, I don't know whether it has been constituted or not. So, what are the provisions in this? How will this work? So, once well, it will uh, solve the time, uh, solve the insolvency cases in, time, in a time bound way. What is the time bound? Sir, uh, it is norm, uh, normally 180 days, which is extendable by 90 days. And uh, again, sir, uh, for uh, corporate citizens, corporate uh, entities and non corporate entities, it has given mandate to the National Company Law Tribunal and uh, uh, Debt Recovery Tribunal. We close the matter here and give you a feedback now. Most of the questioning will be based on the biodata and some on current affairs and things like constitutional issues. Now, since auditing commerce is your paper, is your subject, 
you should expect some very some questions on this. Yes. Like, uh, let's say, auditors, uh, auditors' uh, liability, yes. criminal liability. Yes. Now that, that is as we CSR is another. Then the role of independent directors, yes. etc. Okay. <laughs> then there is also a provision in the. Is, is there also a provision of a, of a woman in member? Yes. Right? That also is there. So all that you should keep in mind. Then some changes have been made last year again in the, in the, in the company law. Yes. That also you should check. Like one man company, yes. etc. Yes. Those have been. So you check upon that. That's very important. Then since you are from Bihar, I ask you about Bihar, Sihon, Meen, etc. Which also you should keep in mind. GDP growth, etc. Third is uh, constitution matters, basic structure, Article 21. One would have asked you more, but I can think of some like First Amendment, then uh, 40, uh, 42nd Amendment, then uh, 78, 70, uh, 73, 74 Amendment. These are some of the major. Then some landmark judgments upon constitution like Minerva Mills and SR Bombay. These are some important cases, just keep in mind. Then we have some uh, important things like insurgency in Nagaland, Manipur also, and Kashmir. These three areas, whatever comes, your, your, when is your interview? 24, 6. Till then, whatever comes to your notice in the paper, you keep a note of it. Huh? These are important things. Then, what are the major groups which are operating in these areas? Okay. Extradition, Malaya, what is the latest you know it? Contact. Huh? Supreme Court has given him and called him, summoned him on July 10. Mosa is Actually, in the name of culture, it is actually a, a, an initiative to strengthen security and economic ties with the littoral countries, yes. starting from Bangladesh all the way up to uh, Iran, let's say, you know, uh, Java and uh, Mauritius, Seychelles. And then the question is, how much work has been done in this field? So. You can even name these Mauritius and Chai and Stacious, two islands, India is developing. Yes. Are you aware of yes, yes. What are the names of those islands? Uh, sir, uh, one is a uh, welcome island. No, independence. And yes, yes. Agaliga. <laughs> Not welcome. Okay. No, sir, yes. welcome. Agaliga and independence. Uh, no, assumption. Assumption. Not, Not uh, assumption. Then, Financial Action Task Force, this is very important, read it. ICC, BCCI, quorum. Yeah. Why civil service he? Oh, he gave the answer, but I think. Shall I tell him? In this, don't say many too many things. Why you want the civil service? Your answer should be straightforward. Being the highest civil service, they provide an excellent career to you. Okay. And a unique opportunity for public service. There's no need to say much. There's no need to hide that you want a career. So they will provide the, 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 an excellent career. Be straightforward, simple. Then Niti Ayo, cooperative federalism, this is a very important thing. Also check up GST. Yes, Another area where cooperative federalism is working is GST council. Yes, hmm? GST council ke baad mein problem. Yes, ah. There might be a number of questions going on. Yes, and you are seeing. Yes, How many states have come, uh, have adhered to it? Because states, each state is passing uh, it through its own assemblies. Then loan waiver you were asked. Whether it is good economics or bad economics. Yes, and it's obviously bad. Now uh, you find the answer why it is bad. Then Swachh Bharat. 
<coughs> this is one of the major programs of government of India. This year also, government has allocated more than 16,000 crores for it. Then there are other programs like Namami Mandir, Digital India, Make a solar power, solar mission, yes, make in India, smart cities, all these are very important programs. You can get a question on any of them. Yes, Udan, Ujwala, Ujala yes, all these schemes, and financial inclusion schemes mm -hmm. of the government. How will you change the behavior and the switch bar? Switch bar, okay. okay. No, you have to also say, you, you made a mention, but you know, in a district also, you have the district information, public relation officer, the NGOs, civil society, and you have to make uh, use of them also for this massive operation. And there is fund for this ICT. Mm, there is fund for this uh, campaign. Then we come to your hobbies. Like non fiction books, they may ask you which books have you read lately and what is the gist of that book, what is the moral of that book. Yes, uh, supposing you have read a book on, on management, then they can ask you what is the theory in that book. Like that. Uran, also, Kosi, these are your own. Then, smart cities. The question will be uh, why do we need smart cities? Now you said, you were asked a question, what is smart about it? So you said, better way, less less time consuming way, everything. Why did you say more efficient? More efficient services. Each service will be more efficient. Whether it is electricity, it is water, it is transport. Is, is that right? It's garbage disposal. So use the word efficient instead of, and electricity consumption will be controlled by information technology, smart metering, etc. You know. Then safe cities, safety will be a, a environment friendly housing. Okay, all these things. NPAs, ordinance, what is the purpose of the Then twin balance sheet, CSR, money laundering. Money laundering, there is an act also, you know. And then lastly, uh, lastly, current affairs. In this, I will draw your attention to three constitution benches which are going to sit during the summer. What three important issues they will decide? Triple Talaq, Adhar, etc. Then, Supreme Court has given some other major rulings like in Manipur, extrajudicial killings, Babri Masjid. Uh, Lokpal, formation of Lokpal, then it has called for uh, making a law on NGOs, liquor ban, conversion from BS3 to BS4, these are some of the major issues. And so is this Niti uh, Aayog and, and NGT, what work they are doing, what work, uh, what is the, their responsibility etc. And VIP visits. <coughs> visits of foreign dignitaries to us, what we have achieved in those visits. Tomorrow, our Prime Minister is going somewhere. No idea. Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka. Yes. Hmm? For two day visit. So, keep a look out. Because the expectation is that we want to develop a port called Trikona Mali or whatever it is. Trikona Mali. And there, there is some dispute. We want to have some strategic oil tanks there. Nine, total 94 tanks. We want to have some of them as our strategic oil. Now, there was a lot of protest from the state owned oil company of Sri Lanka. But I think those have been ironed out. So, but keep a lookout on what happens in that visit. And that is also part of the Act East, about which you were, you were asked. Act East, no? At least is another important area. First, the age is in the you are doing very well. You are very young. How old are you? Very good. Very good. Excellent. You are doing well. And God willing, you will succeed. But keep keep up. Ask.
prepare ourselves for these words and keep a look out or keep reading newspapers very meticulously. Okay? Good luck. Sir, I have one question. Yes. Regarding the presentation, one regarding communication, was I able to satisfactorily communicate? Yes. Absolutely, except that you are looking everywhere. I have noted it, I forgot. I think you have been to Sankar for some place? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, I, I was told to uh, <laughs> to everyone. <laughs> that is a wrong thing because they feel they say you engage everyone. Now the point point is either you can reply nicely or you can engage everyone. I don't think you can do two tasks at the same time efficiently. Yeah? So if you want to do a good job, then you have to only look at the person with whom you are talking. Yes, sir. Otherwise, you lose track of what you are saying. Yes, you don't be worried about looking here and there. So it is unnatural. It is unnatural to concentrate on your answer, on the quality of your answer, and also to keep looking everywhere. Yes, Engage only the person. If you are being assessed by everyone. Yes, hmm? There, everyone gives marks separately, you know. So, in the UPSC. So, you don't worry about looking here or there. You only focus on your answer. That's the absolutely wrong advice. And mind you, if you uh, if the somebody is asking a question and you're looking the other way, that other member may feel offended also. So this is something uh, wrong. It's a very formal interview. There's no question of looking uh, to somebody else. Okay. And sir, one another question is slightly silly. I say uh, the color of uh, the suit is uh, very good. Absolutely. Very good. Thank you. This is a good combination. This I could wear. Good, no problem. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update.